I'm here at the NEC in February 2023 on possibly what is the brightest stand at the show. It's the Fiamma stand, and I'm here with a very important chap. This is the managing director of Fiamma globally. Charles, how are you? Very well, very well. It's really I'm, good to see I'm you. I'm actually co-managing director with my cousin as well. I, I just okay. want to say that. It's important for us to say it. <laughs> You're not going to take all the glory. Yeah, I can. Now, I Fiamma yeah. is a yeah. big household name oh, in the thank UK. You. Thank you. Uh, and it's everywhere, isn't it? Everyone sees the bike racks, the awnings. Mm-hmm. How long has Fiamma been going? So, uh, Fiamma was founded in 1945. Uh, by my grandfather, Arlando Pozzi, and uh, as, when he passed uh, in the 60s, my grandmother took over, and then my father, my uncle, came in as well. Okay. So, and we've been in the industry, I would say, since the 1980s. We started doing other products, and then in the 80s, we got into the industry. Oh, into motorhomes, cameras. Into motorhomes, right, cameras, okay. yeah, yeah. And what's your best-selling product, would you say? Uh, the F45. The, so the, 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 the wind charming. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the wind sure. It's yeah. on everything, isn't it? It's well, we try. We yeah. try and we... We push so it. It's in your blood then. If we cut you in half, it says Fiamma. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I will bleed red. That's why it's uh, you know, the red colour. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Fantastic. So you're here at the show. And how's yes. it been for you? Oh, very good. Very good. I mean, we, we love the show. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's a very enthusiastic show. There's also a lot of new innovation, I think, especially in the, in the, motor, in the small vans, converters. Yep. There's a lot of very exciting stuff happening. Yeah. And there's some innovation from Fiamma, Fiamma again this year, isn't there? We try, we try. Yeah, oh, it's well, we're, we're going to catch up with Carl, and he's going to talk us through some oh, of the yeah, new yeah. innovations on the bike racks. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some uh, some good stuff there. We have uh, uh, a new uh, bike rack for the Ducato. Yeah. For until three uh, vehicles or two, sorry, three bikes or two e-bikes, right. which is uh, okay. a new one for us. Of course, so. e-bikes are more and more popular, aren't they? Yeah, and they're also heavy. Yes, so, yeah, you know, so you it have needs to, a different uh, bike rack. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charles, it's great to see you again. Such a pleasure. Thanks really. for coming over and joining thank us you. here in the thank UK you, at the show. It's thank lovely you. to see you. Yeah, have a good pleasure. rest of the show. <laughs> thank you, thank you, you too. So I'm here with the UK sales manager of Fiamma, with Carl, how are you doing? Oh, very well, thank you. New bike racks from Fiamma, this yeah. is exciting. I can see the differences instantly. Can you talk us through them though? Absolutely, yeah. So this is our coach-built motorhome series of bike racks. Uh, The the key bike rack range for us has always been our pro series. And uh, we've got a solution for everything really. Um, Traditionally, we've had three different solutions. We've had our pro C, uh, the C standing for compact. So if somebody wanted to fix a carry bike below the rear window on a motorhome, the smallest option would be uh, the pro C. Um, that would allow the person to open the window, so yeah. that's really, really popular. This is where the fixings go back onto the wall, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. And then we used to have an in-between model, so where the proceeds stopped, we used to have a model that would uh, start from 50 centimetres to, I think it's 80. Yeah. And then we would have an even larger model where if somebody had no rear window, wanted to spread the load the best, we had the Pro Series, and that was the biggest one. Yeah. So we had three models traditionally. Uh, this year we've um, sort of rationalised our range a little bit so wh- where the Pro C used to stop um, we've sort of extended that now so it will do the same job as a Pro C and a Pro M together yep. so we, we now have two part numbers that do the whole range. Aesthetically we've made some changes and improvements we think. Um, traditionally our racks were always like a, a tubular steel, a, a tubular aluminium even. Um, we've tried to go for a different aesthetic look so we've made them oval shaped. Um, aesthetically we think it's more appealing. We've also increased... I guess the, it's stronger as well. It is, yeah. We still state and categorise that they take 60 kilos. Right. I think we're also trying to protect the wall of a vehicle because we're mindful that, you know, whilst the rack could perhaps take more weight, uh, the vehicle, you know, we've got to be careful with the rear wall. Yeah. Um, the other change we made on the bike racks is we've introduced a new Rail Plus. Um, standard rails are, are pretty good. Uh, they could take regular bikes. We had a premium rail, which was for e-bikes. So we had two, two different rails for two different jobs. Going forward, this is definitely the, uh, the rail of the future, the Rail Plus. It means we, don't, we won't need two rails in the future. Um, each rack now, we used to have a variant that would take uh, just e-bikes. So you'd buy a Pro C or a Pro C um, or, or a Pro, which would take uh, two e-bikes. Uh, or you would buy a regular rack, which could take up to four regular bikes. Um, so, you know, going forward, we've rationalised. We've cut from three SKUs to two. Uh, and two models to to one basically so this one model here will take the two e-bikes or four regular bikes if you take in two e-bikes you would just pay attention to put the first bike on the first position and the second bike on the third rail position but we've tested them and they're perfectly fine so that was the first uh, big change in our range for the last 20 years and being mindful of that 60 kg limit it's the advice is always take the battery off the bike isn't it 
It is, yeah, if you can. There's some yeah. bikes you can, some some you can't. Of course. Um, but absolutely, if you can, it's always best to store the batteries yeah. inside, uh, definitely. And, and the difference is about the tyre width, isn't it? That's why there's different rail widths. Yeah. And what you're saying is this rail is now standardised yeah. and will take all tyre widths of standard bike and e-bike. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, we, in fact, we actually have a, a big wide range of rails even now. We have uh, for tandem bikes and all sorts, but, you know, the, the two key ones for us have always been premium rail and standard rail, so this... Pen, penny this farthings? You know what, I wouldn't be at all surprised. I, I bet you, you know, can get one on. cycles, you name it, you know, I've seen everything. Can... The arms are pretty flexible. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the arms are flexible too, so... Yeah, these these rotate these these blocks. So yeah. pretty much anything um, bike-wise, it will it will carry. So no problem. I'll tell you one of the things I appreciate is the way the the black and red piece at the back. Yep. I don't know what you call it. It's like the buffer Shock that goes onto. Oh, that's much better. That's a vast improvement. That's Absolutely. great. Well, even the uh, you know the fixings they've morphed from being grey to yep. black. We we recognise black is the the on vogue colour at the moment. So. Yeah. Yeah, and even the rails, you know, they've been upgraded and changed. So yeah, we're happy. We think it's uh, the way forward. Very good. Right, let's move up the yeah. aisle and go and look at some other racks. Yeah, so something, what, the next noteworthy thing, it's not a big thing really, but we've changed the way we um, the way we stock through the wholesalers, the uh, the DJ bike racks. Right, so, so th this is for a van with two doors yeah. that open on a you know, traditional van, two split doors, and this goes on the right-hand door, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So traditionally for Fiat Ducato, Peugeot Boxer, Citroën Jumper, um, what we found is, I mean, we already knew that the, the, the main frame of the rack was the same rack that was used on a Sprinter, on a Crafter, on a Ducato, for example. Um, we used to have SKU numbers for each one with everything in that box will do this vehicle. Um, then we realised, you know, from a wholesale point of view, distribution-wise, it would be far easier to make the, the frame one part number one SKU. And then, you know, the customer would then say, well, it's going on a Ducato, therefore I'll order yeah. the rails those for a Ducato. Yeah, those, yeah, got yeah. the bracket for that. So we actually haven't changed anything other than the way we, we sort of present it, really. And is it still available in silver or is it now black as well? No, this one is still available in anodized with black end caps yep. or deep black. We present here, we've got limited space at the show. But, of course. Uh, we we, we recognise that the deep black is the, the trendiest looking vehicle rack uh, and the colour that everybody's asking for. So, yep. you know, space limits really. So sticking with black then, yep. let's walk around the corner. You've got a new bike rack for a VW Transporter. Yeah, it's just so tell us about uh, this. This looks very cool. It is. It's uh, So we have regular racks that do, do a job for a price and uh, we have our premium T6 products. We call this the T6 Pro. Um, it's probably the third time we've made uh, improvements, we think, to the aesthetics, and this is definitely by far the best yet. It's very nice. Yep. You can see here that the uh, you know the size of the tube is quite substantial now. Um, our original model actually had reinforced pieces of framework, which uh, we've sort of taken off and tested, and uh, it's perfectly fine to not have them. So aesthetically, uh, it looks better not having them. Um, from an installation point of view, the, the less framework, the quicker it is. So yeah. there's yeah. a time saving to putting it together. And can I make an observation? This is a two bike rack. The VW one is four bike, isn't it? Which if there's two of you, you're never going to use it all. Well, this is a two bike option, but it can be four, can't it? It can, yeah. The rail here is telescopic. We've always felt the same thing. You know, why have four rails uh, if you're only ever going to use two? It's best to give the customer the two rails they need. And if at a later date they want to bring their grandchild along or you know grandchildren, you can add a third or fourth bike to the yeah. to the rack. Um, the other change we made was we used to offer this one in uh, anodized with black, or just black. And do you know what? The sales they were just all on the deep black. That was really? definitely the way forward. So we are sticking with this one model here. Yeah. Yeah. But black so, is the new grey. <laughs> it's yeah. I'd go along with that. Absolutely yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. That's great, Carl. Thanks for your insight. Really no good problem. to see you again. Mm -hmm. Have a great rest of the show, won't well, you? Thank you very much for your time anyway. Thank you, Matt. Pleasure. Cheers. Thank you.